Hey Scorpio and welcome to your tarot love readings. Um, for the one that loves you, we are going to take a look at the messages here that are coming in for you in relation to love. Um, or perhaps this is uh, the, the messages here are for you and for the one that you love here. So, um, as always guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in the back of your mind. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Okay, the Emperor, Judgment in Reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the one that loves you seems to be a bit stubborn. Um, seems to be set in his or her own ways. Um, but I also feel like... Um, okay, so for some of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is... They could be traditional, okay? They could be quite old school in their values and their beliefs here. They could be someone a lot older than you as well. There can be a bit of an age gap. And as a result, I mean, age is just a number. It shouldn't be a factor. But I feel like maybe there is, you know, there's a difference here. Because you could be like generations apart. Um, and it feels like there's age really, for some reason, either age is really showing up here in the connection. So maybe you feel like, you know, you're older than this individual and you feel like you have more life experiences, you have more emotional intelligence, and you know, over this person or, you know, it works in reverse. You feel as though, um, you feel as though this person is older than you. Okay, for some reason, I'm getting a, an age gap here. Or if it's not an actual age gap, you just feel like you're... You could be a bit of an old soul here, Scorpio, and you feel like you don't necessarily always connect with this individual. You also feel like they're set, they're, they're very stubborn or set in their ways, like they're very rigid. It's it's hard, you know, it's their point of view or it's their way, it's the hard way. And sometimes it can be very hard for you to get them to see your point of view because they're just so, you know, I'm right. Even if I'm wrong, I'm still right, you know. Um, that sort of energy. Now with judgment in reverse as well, there is something here. I feel like the one that loves you isn't necessarily, there may be like um, a difference in communication styles or maybe this person isn't necessarily very good at uh, communicating here, opening up. Whenever judgment lands in your tarot spread, it is an indication of either a beginning or an end. Um, and I guess uh, it's a bit of a paradox because uh, endings are often beginnings anyhow. Um, I am seeing that maybe this is just for some of you maybe this is just the beginning of a connection okay or just the beginning maybe it started out as a friendship turned romantic here for others of you i feel like maybe you know i'm seeing a possible ending here you're either on the verge of ending this connection even though there may still be love underneath it or this has ended for you with the nine of pentacles i'm seeing it's you've invested a lot into this connection emotionally physically mentally spiritually the both of you have um but i feel like there's a need i'm not sure why let's go ahead and see what the cards say here but i feel like there's a need for you to invest in yourself here because this is self-sufficiency and independence do you here more pentacles energy you've got strength and you've got the ace of swords here okay so for a lot of you i do get you know the, the strength card on top of the judgment card it's just strong indication that there is something that's ended for you and i feel like you know it's going to require it's testing your strength of character and it's going to require um or it is requiring a lot of your strength here okay um you have that inner and out of strength here Scorpio to sort of see this through some of you are going through a breakup some of you have broken up some of you may be on the verge of a breakup here or are heading towards it here so it is going to be a very testing and a very trying time here um, the emotions feel very raw it feels very raw it's something that might even drive you to exhaustion here but you do have what it takes and this is only going to strengthen you. This is only going to make you stronger. With the Ten of Pentacles, okay, I'm seeing that the one who loves you here and the one that you love, you know, you, you're... The two of you spoke, or the two of you have, you know, you've had... You've spoke of a future together. You've made future plans together, future investments here, um, long-term visions. Um, you know, you, you've built a very strong foundation of 
uh, factor here, a very strong foundational factor for the relationship. So for some of you, even though you may be going through a breakup or right now there could be some sort of division or separation, it is temporary. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, it doesn't feel like it may be forever because I feel like it's what you have is too. You didn't come this far to only come this far is what I'm getting. Um, the Ace of Swords as well. Your breakthrough isn't coming just yet. And this person here isn't. They're not ready to talk here. Okay, you're not ready to share what's going on with other people. This person isn't ready to share what's going on with them. Um, there could also be a miscommunication with the Ace of Swords in reverse or a misunderstanding. Um, it could also be like, it's sort of like a destructive kind of energy between the two of you. Whereas you guys, I feel like, aren't on the same page or you guys are just not communicating here. There could be arguments and disagreements, maybe even feelings of hostility, anger, despair, resentment here towards one another. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, uh, just as I thought, you've got the Knight of Swords here, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Swords here. Okay. Um, mental aggression, just aggression in general, conflict here. So... I think it is a clash of the egos, you know, you've got this person who's so rigid, who's so set in their ways, you know, they want it this way, it's their way or, you know, it's the highway. Um, it's, I feel like you guys are two different people and unless you learn to sort of come together, cooperate and compromise, um, you know, unless you learn to sort of talk it out and work it through, I don't see this necessarily happening. Um, you know, someone here I feel like has, I'm not sure whether this is your energy here, because when Scorpios, you know, um, are being hurt, they're very big on, uh, you know, uh, taking and seeking revenge here. Uh, you know, getting someone with their stinger, because if someone has hurt them, has betrayed them, there's a lot of aggression underneath the surface and they have this need for a vengeful act to lash out, to, you know, to hurt someone just as much as this person has hurt them so i get with the knight of swords this you know there might have there may you guys may be in some sort of conflict um in an argument or a disagreement you guys are fighting or you're just you, you, you're not vibing right now you are not vibing right now i'm picking up that strongly the nine of wands as well someone feels very hurt something that your person has said or did i feel like has really has wounded you honestly has got has really got under your skin um they hit a nerve, okay? And the reason why I feel like you personally reacted because it was you felt like it was a personal attack. Um, or perhaps this person has betrayed you in the past. Or maybe this person hasn't necessarily betrayed you in the past. Maybe you just have, you know, you've been hurt in the past, you've been lied to, your, your trust has been broken, and all of a sudden, you know, you're not going to give anyone um, an easy pass this time around. The same could work in reverse, though, here. Maybe you're the one that said something here. Said something that feels like it really got under the skin of your special someone here. And they feel, you know, they feel wounded. They feel wounded and they feel really overwhelmed here. The Nine of Swords, someone isn't sleeping at night. Someone here is stressing over, stressing over the connection here, stressing over their feelings, their emotions here over the whole situation. A very destructive kind of energy here with the Nine of Swords. Someone here seems to be very restless here. Um, notice the repetition as well with the Nine of Swords. It's like, oh, I just bumped the camera, sorry guys. It's like they're going over things over and over in their head. They're analyzing something that they said or something that they did, but they're not ready to reach out, not just yet. They will, they will communicate, maybe with an apology or in, with an explanation. Someone here wants to say something, um, but they're not ready to do it just yet because I feel like they're trying to collect the words. I feel like they're trying to make sense of it. Okay, swords is mental energy. It's, you know, it's taking a logical approach. So they're trying to understand why they said what they said, why they did what they did, or why you said what you did, what you said what you said, and what you, you know, why you did what you did. You know, however it happened here, this person is trying to make sense of it. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. It it only probably makes sense to the, those two people that were personally involved. Um, but here you have it, because I feel like the one, you know, the one that loves you, I feel like you guys are, 
there is a lot of emotions and I feel like there's a lot of stability here with regards to this connection. But I'm seeing that you guys need to find a way to sort of make it work, okay? A clash of the egos, um, a destructive kind of energy with the argument and the disagreeing. But if you can find a way to make it work, I feel like you will have a very stable, very consistent, very secure connection here. There you have it, guys. That is your reading. Thank you for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, um, sharing. I will be sharing with you more general readings uh, throughout the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.